Aprilia SRGT 125, 2022 on, review. Sporty looking twist and go. Aprilia call their new SRGT models urban adventure scooters and went so far in the press briefing as to compare them to SUVs on two wheels. While I think this is over-egging the pudding a bit, it gives you an idea of what the Italian firm had in mind when they designed the bike. Let's be honest, a 125 scooter is never going to make a true grand tourer, you know that, we know that and so do Aprilia. But there is a growing market for more premium and capable scooters that look like they could take on more than an inner city commute. Honda have the Forza 125, Yamaha have the X-Max 125 and then there are wackier options like the Italjet Dragster to consider, too. The SRGT is Aprilia's attempt to crack the market and it leans on Nawali's sporting heritage for credibility. The front of the scooter apes the sports bikes in Aprilia's range with its wide wings, angry dual headlights and beak-like nose. There are vast swaths of fake carbon fiber on the sport models, too, and a hashtag Be Eraser sticker on the front mudguard. Even the footboards are designed to resemble the bash plates on off-road bikes to add to a sense of rugged capability. Ride quality and brakes. The SRGT may be a charismatic cheeky chappy in the car park, but it's all business in the bends. With Showa USD forks and twin rear shocks, a 14-inch front and 13 rear wheel and new Michelin Anarchy tires, this is a scooter that truly handles like a small motorbike. Those bigger wheels contribute to a high, 175mm ground clearance that allows you to barrel through corners with gay abandon, safe in the knowledge that should your ambition outweigh your talent a gentle squeeze on the rear brake will drag you round without drama. Even when taking complete liberties, the SRGT remains stable and reassuring. Engine The latest generation I get engine is smooth and efficient with enough poke to get you up to speed in town. It's a twist and go setup that works well, Piaggio know a thing or two about making scooters, and the brushless starter slash regulator system means that it's very quiet at startup. You also get stop-start technology, which works seamlessly, but is easily disengaged with a single switch on the handlebar if you don't like it. Reliability and build quality. The build quality feels good for the class with a good finish on all the metal components and sturdy plastics on the bodywork. Piaggio Group have knocked out millions of scooters and it would be a surprise if the SR suffered with much in the way of mechanical trouble. How the metal surfaces will cope with UK winters and gridded roads remains to be seen. All of the switchgear feels sturdy and grown up and is easy to use in a thick glove and the finish on components like the mirror stems and pillion grab rails seems strong. You get a proper metal bar clamp and motorcycle-style handlebar, too, which adds to the big bike aesthetic. Value versus Rivals The standard SRGT125 costs £3,700 or £3,800 for the sport version, with the better colors, tinted screen, and fake carbon fiber. The standard 200 costs £3,900 and then it's £4,000 for the sport model. This may seem expensive compared to competition from the likes of the Honda PCX125, £3,299, or Yamaha NMAX125, £3,400, but these aren't the models the SRGT is aiming for.